are no obstacle. Today, as we come to the conclusion of the matter, we want to talk about your private concerns are no obstacle. Your private concerns are no obstacle. Beloved, I've already touched on this, but God was able to use the Apostle Paul in spite of all the physical infirmities that plagues his life. In fact, Paul stated that his weakness guaranteed him greater strength. A lot of times, beloved, we cannot move forward into what God has for us because of our private conversations. Anybody going to talk to me? Act like you don't talk to yourself. Private conversations will cause you to feel inadequate. I wish I had some folk in here that had a conversation with yourself and talked yourself out of the blessing. You felt in your spirit that the Lord was leading you one way, but yet you had a little talk with yourself. And then listening to what other folks said, and you found yourself in a state of weakness because of your own conversation. And so the first thing we want to talk about here as it relates to your private concerns are no obstacles. The first thing is we want to talk about your weakness. Touch your neighbor and say, you weak, you weak, you weak, you weak. You weak. Yeah. Everybody think they're strong. Everybody think that they got it going on. But everybody in here got some weakness. Like Paul, you may look upon yourself as being weak and unable to do much for the cause of Christ. A lot of times, that weakness comes from us revisiting our past. Are y'all here with me? Don't, don't look down at the floor. Don't look, look, don't look down. Y'all look up at me. Don't get scared on me. Everybody got a past. So don't hold your head down Amen. because you just had a flashback of your past. Everybody got a flashback. Yeah. Are y'all in here with me? I wish I had some real Amen. folk in the house that, that have flashbacks. You got a past. Amen. Are y'all in here with me? Yeah. However, the truth of the matter is, is that God doesn't need us. Hear me. He don't need you to be strong and able to stand up on your own two feet. For so long, the church has misguided folk talking about be strong and in the power of his might. God don't need you to be strong. Y'all in here with me? That's why some folk can't get nothing done because they're too strong. Too strong. All right, all right, all right. Y'all help me in here. God can't work through you while you strong. Because folk that think they're strong think that they got it under control. Yeah. Touch your neighbor and tell them I need some help. Yeah. I, if you don't need it, if you ain't real, don't you say nothing. But I just want to talk to the real folk in the house that really need some help. You, I, I, I need some help yeah. because I'm not strong. Yeah. Are y'all here with me? Yeah. Y'all looking at me like, y'all know y'all ain't strong. Either. Yes, sir. You were strong, you wouldn't be rolling that neck. <laughs> you were strong, you wouldn't roll in the mind. Yeah. Mm. If you were strong, you wouldn't be tilted to the side and said, did you? Oh Y'all gonna talk to me in here. Mm. Ain't nobody ever did oh that. Mm. I guess I just talked to myself. Yeah. Boy, you know you ain't never. <laughs> Are y'all here with me? Yeah. Because every now and then, yeah. there is a nigger row. <laughs> That will come and maybe sit on your throat. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Acting like they super spiritual yeah. and anointed and full of hell. And you feel it and you really want to. You can't be strong in your own might. And quit trying to be strong in your own life. Because the Lord, he needs us to be weak 
and to be totally dependent upon his power. And some folk get here they've done that. You ain't got to tell me because I know y'all. And that I know that y'all can't really handle too much of nigger rolls acting stupid and silly. I, I, I know y'all. Y'all 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 can't handle too much of that. And and, and I know how y'all react. I, I, I know when it, you know I know it. Look, you can't handle it. Look, but 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 but, but there's times when you wanna say something. And the spirit of God comes and deals with your weakness. And before you know it, out of your mouth, not outwardly, but inwardly, you say, Lord, you better get me. <laughs> and before you know it, the power of God deals with your weakness and allows you to keep your mouth shut, allows you to walk away. Right. 
have no message. The Spirit said, leave them right there. Thank you, God. Understand that your private concerns are no concern to God. Don't let your private thoughts hold you hostage. God wants you to be free. And the only way you're going to be for free is to release it. I, I wish I had some folk in here. Because if you hold on to something, and that thing got a hold of you, and you find yourself worrying, you find yourself stressed, you find yourself perplexed, you find yourself confused, you know what your list is, you know what's going on, you know what your concern is. The Lord told me to tell you right now, he told me to tell you right now to release it. Don't play with it, release it. And turn it over to him and live in his power and not your power. Because your power is confusing you. But he's not a God of confusion. He's a God that will bless you. And he wants to bless his people. But he can't bless you because he's still holding on. So right now, in the name of Jesus, everybody in the house, whatever's holding you, I declare and decree, if you stand up, lift up your hands to God, and release it to Him, I guarantee you when you walk out the door, you will be free. Amen. Everybody put your hands before all of us. 